and welcome to the 2017 Department of Defense Lab Day. Throughout this courtyard today, you will see more than 80 exhibits that represent some of the many efforts of our teams. What we're focusing on here is enhancing the fidelity of the tissue and of the anatomy. Uh, we have based the tissue on fresh cadaver tissue, so we've done a puncture test and stress strain curves to mimic the behavior of actual human tissue. The idea is if it's damaged, we can quickly replace it in the field. Also, if there's a difficult airway, a burned airway, some strange anatomy that we need to model and represent for training, that we're able to do that pretty easily. It has applications all the way up the treatment trail. Essentially, it's an integrated armored chart, and we saw the addition of a lot of uh, extremity protectors. So, uh, a tactical vest that grew in the amount of protection that it afforded the soldier. But in doing so, we restricted some of his ability to, to move fluidly. Armor design with athletic apparel. So trying to get something that was more of a, a functional fit for the soldier. So it was the ability to raise your arms up pretty much unrestricted. Um, I work within the Research and Technology Directorate. Um, I work on respiratory protection um, technology devices. And so this is the current respirator that's being fielded to all of the DOD currently. This is the M50 respirator. It replaces the M40 and the MCU2P respirators that exist. We're looking at um, adding internal blowers into the respirator. Um, what this does is it creates a positive pressure inside of the inside of the respirator, which offers greater protection and also offers a subjective cooling effect because air is blowing across the face. And I'm here to talk to you about tactical augmented reality for the dismounted soldier. We're going to implement the augmented reality using Net Warrior and the Hunter program. Comprises of the Net Warrior system here on the front mounted. A conformal battery that transfers power and data throughout the soldier system. We've added the sensor on the helmet and a micro display. It allows for navigation so the soldier can have a waypoint. I work for the MR deck. We're working on the JMRTD. Our objective under the JMRTD program was to demonstrate these, the technologies for vertical lift. Flight tests in two different concepts. We'll be flight testing a tilt rotor that's built by a Bell Helicopter and we'll also be demonstrating a coaxial compound go faster and farther more efficiently than anything that we've done before. As the Deputy Secretary of Defense said during testimony just two weeks ago, quote, I would put the innovation record of the Department of Defense since 1947 up against any company in the United States and in the world.